We're back now with a significant update nearly two decades after Natalie Holloway's disappearance. Jorn Vandersloot, the man long suspected of playing a role in that case, is on U.S. soil tonight to face fraud and extortion charges. Sam Brock now with the latest. Almost two decades after Natalie Holloway's haunting disappearance, the prime suspect in the case, Jorn Vandersloot, touching down tonight in Birmingham, Alabama, facing charges of extortion and wire fraud. Hey, no, Mr. Flanked by federal agents, his journey began in Peru this morning. As cameras flooded Interpol car windows in a scramble to spot Vandersloot, who's serving a 28-year sentence for murdering a college student there. Peruvian officials and special police forces temporarily handing him over to American authorities. In that motorcade is Joran Vandersloot, who is now in American custody, about to go into detention to face charges in the Holloway case for the first time. In 2005, Holloway went missing on a graduation trip to Aruba and was last spotted with Vandersloot and two brothers. By the end of 2007, Aruban authorities closed their investigation, never finding a body. In 2010, Vandersloot said for $250,000 he'd provide information on Holloway's body, which he never accurately delivered. He tried to extort her mother for information about the location of her body. And in the course of that extortion, he managed to commit a couple of federal crimes, and we were able to indict him for those. Joyce Vance is an NBC News legal analyst and former U.S. attorney in Alabama whose office brought the indictments in 2010. How solid are you that this case will lead to a conviction? 100 percent. Today, Natalie's mother issuing a statement saying she's hopeful that some small semblance of justice may finally be realized. Vandersloot will be arraigned here in federal court tomorrow on charges that his legal team in Peru denies. Once these proceedings are over, he has to go back to Peru with officials there saying he's serving out his murder sentence until 2035. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.